Hey guys, good evening. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I'm going to be posting more and more videos. Anyway, my name is Ascari Navarro. Hope everyone has a great Sunday night and a good Memorial Day weekend. But still, make sure to stay safe, take precautions, and take good care of yourselves. And anyway, I'm going to talk about several things and several updates. Right now, um, I'm going to see if later on today I'm going to do the second part of the Carla Luna case in Spanish. And then I'm going to interpret it all in English and make a separate video about that. Hope everyone at least knows and understands the situation, which is insane. Anyway, I'm also going to talk about drama updates. And then right now, um, I know there's this tel um, new telenovela that's airing in Colombia called La Venganza de Analia. And also that Telemundo is going to be doing El Malverde. They're going to be doing another a remake of Donde Está Elisa, which is called Buscando Frida. Not Frida Sofia, but Buscando Frida. And then they're going to do a new updated version, basically the fourth version of Café con Aroma de Mujer, which I'll talk about a lot of things. Anyway, right now, it seems that 2020 is a year of the web dramas. So far, with dramas like Ancient Detective, which just finished, which just finished, and then another drama called The Best of You in My Mind, and recently, and even the acclaimed Lost Caverns, have been doing rather well in web dramas. And I know there's The Mystery of Antiques 2, which is the sequel of the 2018-2019 drama, which has like around 7.1 at the moment. Recently, there's been a lot of web dramas that are becoming more and more popular, even getting more reviews, more good reviews than the TV dramas, which is quite ironic. But then it also depends not just on production values, but also on the quality of the script and just on the impact that the drama will have which is quite in, quite interesting but so far there have been not just one but several that have been out this week one of them is a romance of tiger and rose which is very hilarious i saw in the f a few episodes and it's pretty good there it's out on youtube there's also fake princess starting fake princess which is also like also quite a roar and I just I heard it's also doing well which I need to watch that and there's also another drama starring Eleanor Lee which I don't remember and um Liang Jin Kong um which I forgot the name of the title but um but I'll definitely check that one out and another one that I've also have seen is I cannot be friends with you if hopefully I pronounce it right it starts Chen Haoyu, who was in Ruiz Royal Love in the Palace, Nova Land Eagle Flag, which turned out to be quite a mess, but that I won't go into. But but also she also there is also Zhuang Da Fei, which she just she was in Eternal Love a Dream, and then she also recently did another drama that she starred, and it's really it's also pretty good so far. And then there's another drama called My Dear Destiny, which is. Also drama that's also very hilarious. Also has the also has Irene Wan, who you've seen her for Gods of Honor in several roles, and she's known for her sexy vixen, and she still looks really she looks pretty good for her age. Heck. I still want to know what's her secret, but anyway. That aside though, it seems like a lot of the web dramas are getting not just it's more than just popularity, but the acclaim and the good reviews it's not just more than just a high budget of produ but production but it's more about good quality production where they want to take care of not just details even if it's low budget or anything like that because trust me trust me like not all dramas are perfect but it seems like there's something quite interesting here and like as everybody's gonna call it 2020 is like the the year of the web dramas which it feels like it's standing out more than the TV than the dramas itself but and also at the end of the month though and the winner is love which starts Luo Yun Shi and Chen Yuqi um who were both in Ashes of Love and recently um Yuki Chen she was in the Love Last Two Minds which didn't do so well and the recent version of the Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber and Leo Luo he was recently in Ashes of Love Princess Silver and this drama is going to come out this year and then there's another drama that 
Um, there's two dramas that he just finished. One of them was with Victoria's Song, which is called Broker. There's another drama that um, he's doing with Bai. He just finished filming with Bai Lu. And he's also going to be doing the... He's also doing Immortality with Arthur Chen. Which, wow. He's going to sky... He, he's going to skyrocket. Like, I believe it. And even Yuki, she's also, like, starting in film... Several, she's also filming another... She just finished a... Filming a drama for with Chu Chi Xiao, who is in The Wandering Earth. And it's based on... It's kind of like a prequel to um, Mystery of Antiques. Which is a novel of Ma Bo Yong, who also wrote The Longest Thing in Chang'an. Which is a drama that I really liked. And which one... It seems like they're getting a lot more opportunities more than ever. And great for them. And I really hope by June they really do... Air the Wolf, which is, which I saw the trailer and I'm like, this drama needs to be on, you know, with the censorship and the whole uh, thing, which I won't go into. But anyway, um, that is, hopefully it does really well. And recently it just, Serenade of Peaceful Joy just finished. Which, unfortunately, like, in spite of, like, the efforts and things like that, it was still disappointing. But overall, though, I think the cast performance definitely helped make up for the deficit and the, definitely the tragic love story. Which, unfortunately, there was a real-life controversy in regards to that. To Bian Chung who was being a bit rude to Renman, which I, which wasn't cool anyway. And I know Avenue X talked more about it in the details and which is just... Like, either they didn't teach him anything at home, but who knows. Anyway, um, I really hope for that. And there's another drama that I really hope better soon. is called Sacrifice and Revenge. I know they put another title, which I don't really like, which is Love, whatever. Which, I don't know what they do with the little love that was in New Year's, things like that. Because, like, try to try a different title. Try a different title. Like, just leave Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms alone. You have too many. The love eternal, eternal love, eternal this. Which I say, just leave it alone and try to create a really good title, which means something, and it feels like it's gonna create one. But anyway, I which. Mm, but that's. But I want to know what's your guys' opinion on that. And uh, recently, um, I saw a video of um. Carol and Tamiko, who are like basically like a gossip chan cheese channel, in which one Telemundo's release is gonna hopefully once this whole situation's more under control, that they're hopefully gonna be filming Malverde Santo El Santo Patron with Fernando Colunga, which he's making his comeback after five years, which has been a really long time, and hopefully it does all right. Which it's also a narco serie, but it talks about. Ramon, um, about Santo Malverde, in which one he also, the, there's a temple about, there's a shrine in Culiacán, in which if anybody has heard of it or seen it, please let me know. It's going to be focusing on this very interesting figure, not only in narco culture, but like in, in Mexican and Sinaloan culture in general, which he was also considered the um, El Santo de los Narcos or the Mexican Robin Hood. And he's still worshipped today. In which one? It's going to be starring Blanca Soto. Which they were also in a tele telenovela called Porque el, Amor, Porque el Amor Manda. And hopefully it does pretty well. And I know that in June... And Amigo Intimo Season 2 is coming up. So I really liked... I definitely liked the first season a lot. Because it was pretty good. And it was just had so much in it. And I definitely liked it a lot more than, than the last few seasons of El Señor de Celos. And all of that. But I'm a believer in quality. So anyway. um, There's also going to be... There's also going to be a fourth adaptation of Café con Aroma de Mujer. Except there will be a more updated version of it, which starred, starring William Levy and Carmen Villalobos and Laura Londoño. And it's going to be in support with RCN Colombia. And it's going to be filmed in Colombia, hopefully, once this is under control. But who knows what's going to happen. 
which I'm not I'm not a fan of William Levy. I don't think he's really that great in acting. Which I like Carmen Villalobos because she's a really good actress and I haven't heard, seen one of her works. I really hope she's good. Laura Londoño, which let's see how it goes, which I'm not feeling feeling that version because I don't know. And I know a lot of his fans are going to go gawk over this. But anyway, um, I'm going to be talking more about that. And also there's going to be a remake called Buscando a Frida, which is based on basically a remake of Donde Esta Elisa, which was aired over 10 years ago in Telemundo and let's see how this one goes which one I know a lot of people love Donde Esta Elisa which it was it was a very successful telenovela which one it was based it's definitely based on another telenovela which I really need to remember the title and tomorrow it's probably the same title but whoever can correct me please let me know but it was very popular over 10 years ago and let's see how it goes which I'm feeling too uh, I haven't seen 10 yet para enamorarnos yet which the one that I've seen the most every time whenever I eat or, or hear it work out or even here when I work out is the Te Doy La Vida which a lot of people are liking it and I know there's also telenovela como Tu No Hay Dos which I'm not a fan of Adrián Uribe I don't really consider him that great but that's just my two cents, but I heard a lot of people are liking it, but I don't know, because I hear it, so it must be pretty good. Which one, hopefully, like, I need something that just, like, que me enganche, like, something that I can, like, enjoy, which one, I also want to talk about, like, guilty pleasures, because one, one of my guilty pleasures, and I will admit this, is La Rosa de Guadalupe. It's so bad, but so funny, and it's just so addicting. It's just like you want to watch more and more episodes. It's just, it's just crazy. It's just like crazy, but it's like it's it's insane. But like, who here has a guilty pleasure that they like? And hey, who knows? It may be when I like La Rosa de Guadalupe. But anyway, um, I really hope. It goes very well, and, and I know there's going to be another drama called Trident, which starts Chen Jianbin, which I really love his works and his acting. is one of the best actors here, and, and there's also going to be another da- drama starring Jin Chao and Zhang, J- Zhang, Jianning, Zhang Jianning, and it also has Vivian Wu, and let's see how this one goes. I know it's going to be airing. They're both going to be airing like around the end of this week, around this week. So let's just see how it goes. And I know um, there's recently been a scandal with Johnny Huang and his ex-wife, which there have been rumors of domestic violence, and even that the ex-girlfriend ex slash ex-wife. Um, because there there it has confirmed that he was married, so I can't I can't fully give out full details. That she also wrote a suicide note, um, on her Weibo page, which. Hopefully I'm right about this one, but, um, yeah, and it's insane because it's just, like, well, who knows? Because when, it's like, you want to watch a drama, but then you want to separate between the artist and the art. Like, the personal life and their professional life. Which one? You never know what's behind the person unless you were there, but even though I'm against domestic violence and I believe that anyone who does that should be held accountable but it's also really sad because there's even rumors that he really did not want her to say anything so it probably says a different picture about it which right now is a drama um that has it's currently airing it's called love designer or it was once it was formerly called love advanced customization before this so let's just see how that situation goes but but regardless though it's never okay to hit someone. It's never okay. It's, and if you're experiencing that, please call the police and get out of that relationship. Which one? I recommend that. People, sh- if you are in that type of relationship, please leave. Your life is not worth you being hurt or being emotionally or psychologically endangered at all. It's never okay. But, hope, but who knows what's going on in this situation, but... 
Anyway, and I feel like it's going to definitely affect anything that he does because I know he's also finished filming Dear Military Uniform, which is basically a Chinese adaptation of Descendants of the Sun, which is a drama that a K drama that I also liked. And it starred a once very popular couple, which is Song Hye Kyo, and I forgot the other name, but um, yeah, which it ended up in divorce this last year, but hopefully. And my mom is calling, so, um, but anyway, um, have a great, wonderful night, and please make sure to take good care of yourself, and I will be making more videos, and hope everyone does very well. Take care.